The safety testing was done with Skeleton Technology Skelcap SCA0500 ultracapacitor cells that have a capacitance of 500 farads and a nominal voltage of 2.85 volts. More information available at SkeletonTech.com. Burning The ultracapacitor cell is burned with a flame directly pointed at it. The temperature on the cell surface quickly rises to over 400 degrees Celsius or 752 degrees Fahrenheit and the cell's safety valve opens when pressure inside the cell reaches a critical level. The scale cap cells do not explode or otherwise pose a danger when exposed to open fire. The escaping electrolyte vapor is evaporated and does not combust. The preset breakpoint relief or safety valve opens when internal pressure exceeds 12 plus or minus 2 bar. Nail Penetration The ultracapacitor cell is penetrated with a nail to simulate internal short-circuiting. Small amounts of electrolyte vapors are released as the casing is breached without any combustion or explosion occurring. Short circuiting. The ultracapacitor cell is short circuited with wires connected by a piece of aluminum, the same type that is used as the cell casing. The aluminum quickly melts, but the cell itself is unharmed and fully functional. The melting point of aluminum is 660 degrees Celsius, or 1,220 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcharging. The ultracapacitor cell is charged with 10 amperes at 3.3 volts. Overcharging causes the cell to heat up and internal pressure to build up until the safety valve opens to relieve the pressure. Small amounts of electrolyte vapors are released as the pressure valve releases without any combustion or explosion occurring. The preset breakpoint relief or safety valve opens when internal pressure exceeds 12 plus or minus 2 bar. Crushing. The ultracapacitor cell is crushed with a hydraulic press. Crushing the cell only causes it to deform and to release a small amount of bulk electrolyte. No combustion or explosion occurs. For more information, please visit SkeletonTech.com.